Hi there, I'm Paula Golden, president of the Broadcom Foundation. And for the last few years, we've had the good fortune of working with the Renaissance Youth Center to provide programs in particularly in coding, like my young friends here. Uh, and we also have supported their after school programs in a larger way as well. This year, we've decided to put some funding towards helping them deal with the, the impact of COVID-19 on their summer programs. And we're making a contribution of $50,000 towards setting up a summer program for young people who will not have the advantage of summer programs that are provided by the city of New York due to cutbacks. I just wanna tell you a little bit about the Renaissance Youth uh, Program. You know, many years ago, my friend Howard Alterescu took his young son into the Bronx where he had grown up to teach his kid how to play basketball. And he met an amazing man along the way, a great musician and a talent in his own right, as well as one of the great youth leaders on the planet, Bourbon Harris. And through that relationship between Howard and Ann Bourbon and ultimately Howard's wife, Carol, um, they established a, a really a long standing relationship with the Renaissance Youth Center. This center is located in one of the poorest sections of the Bronx, which is the poorest congressional district in the United States. Uh, it will come as no surprise to many of you that it's been, it's been impacted uh, the, in the worst ways by COVID-19 uh, due to a combination of uh, density, poverty, complex uh, home situations that have made it pos impossible for people to deal with uh, what they call social distancing. All of the impacts on the Bronx are devastating. They're devastating in many communities around the United States. We decided at the Broadcom Foundation that we wanted to make a number of relief contributions this year. And one of them is in New York at the Renaissance Youth Center. Not only because we love and admire Bourbon and his amazing team uh, who work with these young people, but also uh, because we think that this community is most in need of the kinds of services that are being denied to them because of cutbacks in New York City this summer. Uh, the impact obviously on these young people of having a summer on the streets is, is unimaginable and we just aren't gonna let it happen. So one of the things we've done is set up a matching uh, challenge. We hope that all of you will take up the challenge and make a contribution to the Renaissance Youth Center by going to gofundme.com and making a contribution to this wonderful summer program. Not only is the program getting young people into the, this wonderful environment where they can learn and grow and, and be together with other young people uh, in a summer experience, but it's also providing vital funds to keep some very talented young staff employed. Uh, this is an area where, again, not only is it driven by uh, the poverty and dis just displacements that happen within an urban environment like the Bronx, but quite frankly, young people of tremendous talent are being denied summer jobs elsewhere. So we see this as a great opportunity to not only help little kids, but some of the young people too, who we want to aspire to become teachers and trainers, and uh, if they're lucky enough, somebody as wonderful as Bourbon Harris. Um, so all of us just want to wish the Renaissance Youth Center real success this summer. Uh, we're so grateful that there are people like Bourbon and his team who make it possible for these young kids to have an opportunity to grow and to be ready for the challenges of high school and college. We are really just so fortunate to have them in our Broadcom family. We make in-kind contributions of computers to the programs. Um, we're happy to provide funding to the programs. And I suspect a lot of you out there would be delighted to be part of our, our family of friends uh, who participate at Renaissance Youth Center. So don't hesitate to uh, go to gofundme.com and join us in supporting the Res Renaissance Youth Center this summer. It'll mean a lot to these kids, and it certainly will mean a lot to me. Take care.